I've never made excuses for training, and that includes even the worst of injuries. In 2012, I tore my ACL completely, and last year I tore my MCL. Even my doctor would say I, I would never be able to train jiu-jitsu. I think about two weeks later, I started training. You know, there's nothing that was going to keep me from stepping on the mat. What I love about jiu-jitsu is that you're always learning. And besides learning new moves, you're also learning more about yourself, how far you're willing to go to learn something. It's only tough in the beginning. Once you get over that hump, it's tuloy tuloy na. As long as you're committed and you're consistent, and you know in your heart this is what you want to do, nothing's going to stop you. Any martial art, you're not always going straight up. It's always a zigzag, roller coaster ride. Goes. Sometimes you go up, sometimes you go down. That's a sacrifice you have to make if you want to keep doing something. And I'm willing to do that for my martial art. When I'm preparing for a competition, people can see that I'm really working hard for it. And I think I set a good example that way. Here in the Philippines, you know, there's no gender bias. They don't underestimate you. And men really respect the girls in the sport. Girls are very competitive, believe me, in the mat. The girls train harder and work harder because they know they have more to prove. My game plan in life is simple. I take everything day by day, you know, and, and I make sure that each day that passes, I am at least 1% better. I would never quit jujitsu, and I have never entertained that thought. It's a part of my life now, and no, I would never stop.